Hey guys, it's Katie and I am back with Natalie and Lindsay for week six of the Spring Slim Down Challenge. Can you even believe it? Oh my gosh, it's so crazy. It's gone so fast, but we are going to crush it for this final week, kicking off the week with our Bar Boot Camp Belly Pooch Workout. So we're gonna work on targeting those lower abs, our obliques, kind of love handle area, really everything. So grab your booty bands and let's get started. All right, you guys, so we're gonna get started with a little bit of a warm up. So go ahead and drop your booty band for now. Bring your heels and toes out. We're just gonna make it a quick warm up, but make sure you take your time if you need a little bit more. Just kind of settling into your space, moving side to side. Start to draw that belly button in toward the spine. Shoulders up and back. Good, posture nice and tall. Coming into center, inhale, reach up with the arms, reaching through the fingertips and exhale, bring it down. Inhale up, exhale out. Good, one more time and hold it at the top this time. Grab your left wrist, take it up and over to the right, big side body stretch. We're gonna work into those obliques and making sure they are ready to go and switch it out. Good, inhale, come back to center. Bend forward over to the side, touching your right toes and sweep the arms over to the left, up toward the sky and down. Two more times, same direction. Exhale. One more time, up. Hold it at center and then switch directions. So take it to the right, up and over to the left. Good. Exhale, come to center. Take a big side lunge to the right and then to the left. Inhale, come to center. Heel toe the feet together to touch. Take a seat on your mat, grab your booty band. So we're gonna start by engaging those lower abs. Bring the band around the leg, so feet through. Just slightly above the knee. We're gonna come all the way onto our backs. Starting with your feet on the floor, make sure that your feet are about hip distance apart. So you should start to work into the abductors on the side as you bring those feet apart in the knees. Your knees are gonna to wanna to start to draw together because of that band, but resist it and pull away. And if you don't have the booty band, it's totally fine. Just make sure that you keep those knees at hip distance. You can bring your hands on the floor, your thumbs even under your tailbone a bit. We're gonna lift our feet up off the floor. Draw your rib cage together and pull that belly button in. Take a big inhale, breath. Exhale, hold. On the next inhale, drop your heels to the floor. Avoid arching that back and then draw the belly button in as you lift the feet up off the floor. We're gonna tap the heels down and up. Good, just down and up. Starting to work into those abs. Glue your lower back down. Just allowing a baby natural arch. Exhale up. If this feels really easy and you wanna challenge yourself a little more, you can lift your shoulders up off the floor. Hands behind the head and lift, we tap and lift. And up leveling even more, you can take a full crunch, lifting the shoulders each time and lowering them down, good. Exhale, up and tap and breathe. Let's go eight, seven, tap the heels, lift on six, five, for four, three, two, and one, keep the knees lifted and the feet off the floor. Bring your hands down by your side. So we're gonna take the same idea, but alternating legs. You're gonna drop that right heel down, slow and controlled up, and then switch to the left and lift. Tap and center, good. Tap, how are you guys doing? Good. Are you feeling it? Yeah, good. Definitely. Perfect little warm up. get those abs engaged, locked in. And you also get a little bit of quad work here, definitely. moving through that band. Tiny bit of booty, and tap, center, good. Left, in, and right. Keep going, let's go eight more. Seven, six, five, for four, three, two, last one. Hug the knees into the chest, give them a nice little squeeze. We're gonna rock and roll up to find a little bit of a boat pose. So. You can start seated with your heels on the floor. Bring your hands onto your shin, lift your chest, pull your shoulders down and back, and then lean back so you feel your abs start to engage. You want that to be your powerhouse and your support through all of this. So keeping your posture right where it is, if you can, remove your hands, bringing them out to your side. And if you still can control that posture, lift your heels up off the floor. 
So you can be here. You're gonna bring your hands to heart center. We're gonna twist down to the right, come to center and go left. Center with control. So really making sure your abs are moving everything. Twist. Exhale, good. And left. We have eight, seven, then we're gonna pick it up. Six, five, for four, three, two, right to left, all the way through. We go right and left, good, right. How are you guys doing at home? Are you starting to feel those abs? Are your quads kind of taking over here? If they are, you can always drop your heels back down so you can really bring the focus back to your core. Twist, good, big breaths, eight, seven, six, five, for four, three, two, and one. Exhale, shake it out. Good, we have one more exercise, so let's come all the way to standing. You can go ahead and remove the band for now. From here, you're gonna step out with your right foot, bring your weight into your left leg, reaching high up toward the sky, leaning over to the side. You're gonna exhale, draw that knee up and tap it back down, finding that big stretch to the side body. Lift up, squeeze, tap, squeeze, good. And up. Getting the heart rate up a little bit here. Good, get that knee nice and high. Eight, seven, six, five, for four, three, two, hold it up on one, hold it up. Stay right here. Now wrap your leg, balance. Whoa, whoa, yeah, we got it. Wrap your leg back. You're gonna reach up, squeeze in, lower, lift, lower, and lift. With that nice bent knee, ankle and knee alignment, good. Up, squeeze, lift. If you need to hold onto a counter or a chair, you totally can. Or if you need to tap that foot down in between, head there too. Lift up, up. We have eight, seven, six, five, for four. You feel those love handles? Two, whew. one, exhale, let it go. Shake it out, switching sides. All the way up and over, good. Pull in, up, right into it. Exhale, breath, you got it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold up on one, hold it, wrap it back, find your balance, reach up, lower the knee together, then lift, lift, good, lift. Here we go, pull up. Squeeze into that side, you got this. Eight, I know, there's always one you're like way more balanced. Let's do four more together for a four, three, two, and one. Shake it off. All right, you guys, hopefully you love that workout. If you did, swap the thumbs up, give it a little click. And if you want more, you can do this a couple more times, but download the LSF app and you'll get a full length workout. You'll get the rest of this workout so you can finish strong, feeling good. It's in the iTunes store and Google Play. So I'll put the link down below. You can get a seven day free trial. I cannot wait for you to get started with it. So don't forget, good things come to those who sweat. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Huh?